Today on the channel, we are talking about the DJI FPV drone and specifically the B3 Yond FCC hack. Now, over the last couple of weeks and months since this hack has been out, I've seen a constant stream of questions of how do I know it's actually working and how do we know it's doing anything at all? Now, there is an FCC hack for the DJI Digital FPV system as well, which is the NACO text, and it's quite easy on that system to tell when it's working, because when you're in CE, you only have four channels and 25 milliwatts available. However, when you move it to FCC, you actually end up with eight channels and up to 700 milliwatts. Now, whilst there is a different FCC hack for the FPV drone, which is the B3 Yond app, there is no actual easy way to tell from the settings that it's actually working. You don't gain any more additional channels and there are no actual power output settings. You simply apply the hack and it tells you it's done, but you then have to assume that it is actually working. Now, what we're going to do today is actually show you the difference in the radio output between the CE and FCC on a spectrum analyzer. And I'm going to show you it on this device here. Now, this is a PC-based spectrum analyzer from Aronia, and this is the Spectrum V6. This is a high-end PC-based spectrum analyzer that works from 10 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz. And we're going to use this today to show you the actual output differences when in CE mode and then when we push it into FCC. Now, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing another video similar to the one I did before on the FPV system, showing you how the radio system works on the DJI FPV drone as well. So if you're interested in seeing that, please do hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell and that way you'll get an update when it comes out. I'm also going to be doing a couple of videos showing you this actual device in a lot more detail because this is a frankly massively impressive piece of equipment that they have very kindly loaned me and we're going to be using this over the next couple of weeks and months to try and show you some really interesting things on not only the DJI digital FPV system but on Sharp bite and analog and a lot of other stuff like that as well. Anyway, for today, let's get on with taking a look at this, the FPV drone. What I'm going to do is put it up on the screen and show you it in the CE mode, and then I'm going to put it into the FCC mode and show you it working there as well. Okay, so I've moved over to the computer and what you can see on the screen is the spectrum analysis output from the Spectrum V6. In the top right hand corner, there's a camera looking down at my tablet and we're gonna use this to show you us actually activating the FCC mode and see the output actually change. Now, just to explain what exactly you are seeing here on the screen, this is a real time spectrum analysis output of the signal from the DJI FPV drone. It is currently in 5.8 gigahertz mode, 40 megabits. Now, these two screens are different representations of the same signal. The top is a live spectrum analysis view and the bottom is a histogram view and they're just different ways to look at the same signal. So on both screens, you've got this large mass here that is the video signal being transmitted from the FPV drone back to the goggles. And then you can see these green signals bouncing around or the blue ones, as you can see down here on the histogram view of the FHSS telemetry and remote control link. So the large signal here is our video signal. And then the individual spikes bouncing around is both telemetry from the goggles to the drone and remote to the drone as well. Now, there is a bit more complicated stuff around the FPV drone in the way it works, which I'm not going to explain in this video, and I'm going to be going into that in a dedicated one shortly. However, that is the basics that you need to know. Now, because we are in 40 megabits mode, that is the reason the carrier is so large. If we were in a smaller bitrate mode, you'd just see the carrier be narrower rather than this large OFDM mass. Now, if we just look at the power levels a second to confirm again, I am in CE mode at the moment. I'm not going to go into what readings I'm actually getting is in. Is that correct? I'm simply using this now as a basis of where we are at in CE. And you can see we're getting a 
about minus 50 dB on this side here. It's averaging down here at about minus 71, 72. And if we look at the histogram view, you can see right there in the center of the mass, it's minus 59. And towards the sort of averages on the mass, it's minus 46 dB. Now, what we're going to do now is put it into FCC mode. And what you're going to see is this OFDM signal increase. And that is showing us that the output power from the drone has increased as well. So what we need to do, first of all, is connect my tablet to the goggles, which I'm just plugging in that USB port. We're going to shift over and we're going to be opening the three, the B3 Yond app. And this is the DJI FPV Unlocker app. It is available on the Play Store. We're going to click Start Now. We're going to click Next, Next, Next. And we're going to let it scan. And at this point, nothing will change. It is simply scanning and checking for a connection to the system. If we then keep an eye on this signal that you're seeing on the screen here. And what I'm going to do is put my cursor, which is up here, just about there, just to show you what the current output actually is. We're then going to click Next. And you're going to now see this signal increase. And there we go. We saw it switch from that low power CE mode up to that high power FCC mode. And you can see that the output is increased substantially. You can also see the overall noise level on the band is increased substantially as well because it's outputting so much more power. And it's actually that much more that the overall band has increased in the amount of noise that's being picked up as well. And that's simply because we're so close. And you can now see that it's a lot harder to actually distinguish those individual signals from the remote and the goggles compared to there. Now, I can actually show you it going back into CE mode because the way this FCC hack works is, whilst it works absolutely fine and it will stay in FCC now, no matter if you reboot it or not, it will reset if you connect your phone via the Fly app back to the device. So what I'm going to do now is just to show you that actually take place, we're going to disconnect the USB, I'm going to plug in my lightning cable, connect it into my phone, I've just plugged it in there, I'm going to unlock my phone, and what I'm going to do then is just show you on the screen, I've put that there, I'm just going to open fly, and you will see as it connects, there you go, it's pushed it back into CE mode and the output has reduced again back to that much lower level. Now, the thing to take from this is that it is absolutely clear that the FCC mode hack works and it works every time. So again, if you want to do this, you simply download that B3 on app, you plug it in, you open the app up, you let it do its connection, and follow it through. And what I'm just going to do now is just do it again, just to show you as we think. And as I've said, it will remain in that FCC mode even after you reboot. And we'll actually do that now in a second to show you. But it will reset if you connect it back to the Fly app. Boom, it's done the unlock. You can see that the power output is increased substantially and we're back in that higher output. Now, you could measure the, the actual signal being received by this, but th the way I've got this set up at the moment, it's not the best way of doing it. So what I'm now going to do is power down. I'm just going to put that there, the marker there. Now I've powered down, you can see that the signal has fallen away and it's gone back down to that low level. I'm going to power back on, wait for the drone to reconnect, and then we'll just wait to see that signal kick back in and then you should see it come back to that high level again. I'm just going to unplug the app from the goggles. It doesn't need to be plugged back in. It just needs not to connect to that FPV system. It's waking up. It's connecting. It's possibly picked a different channel this time because it might have come back onto auto. No, nope, there it is. And you can see, boom, it's come back on straight into that FCC mode. 
And just to prove that is FCC, I'm going to just plug my goggles back into the Fly app. The second I do that, you'll see it wait, connect, and drop back down. So it is clear that we did reboot into FCC. Okay, and that is it for this video. As you can see, there is clearly a difference in output between the two modes. Now, it is a shame that there's no easy, quick way to tell when the FPV drone is in FCC, but there is a substantial increase in output power when you do apply the B3 Yond hack, and it's clear that it is pushing the drone into that higher output. Now, if you're interested in more details on this, the Spectrum V6, I will put a link to Aronia's website in the description of this video. This is a very high-end uh, Spectrum analyzer, and if you are interested in getting one, please do check out the link, but I will warn you in advance, these are at the high end of PC-based Spectrum analyzers, and the price does reflect that as well due to the capabilities. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well. There are links in the description to Patreon if you'd like to support us on a regular basis, as well as buy me a coffee as well. That's it for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting. And please, as I've said, check out the channel in a couple of weeks where you will see more videos on the radio system on this drone coming.